150 families in Bayou Corn had to evacuate when a massive sinkhole suddenly appeared in their neighborhood. Well, that was back in August 2012. And since then, about half of those families have accepted buyout offers from the company deemed responsible, Texas Brine. But not everybody left. News 10's Darren Roberts spoke to one woman who simply did not want to move or spend her second Christmas away. Christmas Day, Talicia Donna Creature was visiting her family on Bayou Corn, only several hundred yards away from the infamous sinkhole. My sister is still living there, and um, the whole family's there, so you know we're we're okay with being there for Christmas. We wish we were there every day. Post sinkhole disaster, she's living in an RV park more than 10 miles away off LA 70. I stayed for the longest time until the people I was renting from took a buyout and I had to leave them. Donna Creature also owns property in the evacuation zone, but is among those who are refusing a buyout from Texas Brine Company, even though her sister is among more than five dozen residents who are taking the buyout option. So far, we've reached the settlement agreements with 68. Uh, of the, of the uh, property owners. I love the fresh, clean air, the wide open space, um, the water, the wildlife, the fishing, the people. But Donna Creature says she certainly has her concerns. I don't know that I'll get a builder out there, a builder's crew. Um, if I do build, if I'll be able to get insurance on the house what the house will be worth once it's built. We understand that this has been a, 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 a regrettable disruption to their lives, and especially now at the holidays, it's probably a very difficult time for many of these uh, uh, the residents, but um, we've tried to respond as responsibly as we can. Reporting in Assumption Parish, I'm News 10's Darren Robert. Thanks, Chris. For the second straight year, some 150 families around Bayou Corn have been unable to enjoy Christmas inside their own homes. They were forced out in August of 2012 after a sinkhole was discovered near their property, a sinkhole that has continued to grow. According to Texas Brine, about half of the 100 families impacted have accepted a buyout, but not everybody. Talicia Donna Creature is one of the residents who did not accept a buyout. Instead, she says she's still trying to work out a deal with Texas Brine. This Christmas, the lady is still living in a temporary home, an RV about 10 miles up the road from the sinkhole. I didn't want to leave in the first place. I'm only here. I evacuated because I had to. And um, I'm going to go back as soon as I can, one way or the other. You know, I'm working with Texas Brine um, to, to work something out. They were working with me. And, uh, yeah, I plan on being back. Scientists still can't say when the sinkhole will finally stabilize. The latest round of buyouts is uh, apparently just around the corner for Texas Brine. Coming up tonight at 10 o'clock, News 10's Darren Robert will have more on the ongoing situation in that community. For the second time in less than two months, more cracks are showing up in that earthen berm that is surrounding the sinkhole in Bayou Corn. Officials say the cracks are being created by what they call intense underground tremors. The sinkhole was first discovered in August of 2012, prompting a mandatory evacuation of area residents. This makes the second Christmas in a row now that some 150 families have been forced to celebrate Christmas outside of their homes. Texas Brine says it will continue to fill the cracks with more soil. But so far, there is no end in sight. That hole now covers more than 36 acres. Earthen berm surrounding the Bayou Corn sinkhole in Assumption Parish has developed some new cracks. This is the second time in two months that they've developed new cracks that have apparently been caused by what officials are calling underground micro tremors. According to parish officials, the cracks have formed along the southern part of the berm in the, near the Bayou Corn waterway. That's the same area where the first set of cracks developed in October. The cracking at that time, which has since been repaired, coincided with some sinking of the berm in that area. According to Texas Brine, they plan to keep maintaining the levee by bringing in additional soil.